So I've been having problems with my fuel gauge on the um, instrument panel not reading correctly. Uh, it's been all over the place, uh, which has been really annoying. Finally got round to ordering a new fuel sender part. Uh, this part here, thinking that that might be the issue. Um, which is uh, this part number. And I've just taken it out and just done a little test measuring the resistance uh, on the circuit, uh, which I'll hook up now. Just trying to do this with one hand while holding a camera. Uh, you can see straight away, and this really seemed odd to me. So I'm just um, turning this up one way and then the other to make the float go up and down. And what that does in there is just, um, can you see it from that side? It's just a couple of tabs uh, as the float goes up and down. Uh, they create more resistance in the circuit or not, depending on the level of the float. So yeah, those numbers are pretty wild. So I hooked up the new part I got, just to see what would happen there, which I'll do now. Okay. And the numbers don't shift. Uh, in this position it's a steady one, two, five. We flip it up the other way. It's a solid 010. So hopefully that is my problem for bad fuel readings. Like I do 100, 120Ks and on the instrument panel I get my fuel light already saying I was just about, you know, going into reserve kind of thing where in fact I'd have another uh, 200 odd k's left. Um, so if you're experiencing this type of thing with your Triumph Tiger, the fuel sending unit might be the cause.